So I finished my Alpe Due climb. I did not beat uh, Marco Pantani time. He climbed in 36 minutes about two, 10 years ago. I did in one hour 10, but it's okay. I'm not a pro and I just have a espresso before my climbing. So I'm gonna show you my setup. As I told on the action video, I'm using Tax uh, Smart Flow. It's uh, the entry level of uh, Tax Smart Training, but it's pretty good. Uh, here is the, the setup. I have uh, this sensor for uh, cadence and speed but I'm basically when you are using a smart training just use the RPM uh, data because the RPM from the trainer is not good at all I use it also a uh, wrist uh, chest for cardio monitor I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show you the setup what it was a bit uh, complicated to calibrate the trainer I'm still in contact with the tax, so I don't know if my power is totally correct because uh, you have uh, the, the setup here on the trainer where you adjust the, the tension, it's a bit harder for me. One second. Okay, so uh, the setup is here. You have uh, a level uh, down here where you turn the spin to the left or right to, to change the distance from the, the brake from your wheel. So what's happening in my case is that I'm turning just too hard and it's hard to, to press, as you see, to, to unmount and I have to press really hard but even though when I calibrate the trainer the level is still not in the middle of the green as the application says that should be right on the middle mine is on the beginning of the green area so I'm in contact with tags but besides that the train is the trainer is really good is smooth I mean not noise so you're not gonna bother your neighborhoods. So I finished my climb. Uh, the application, I use the application from Tex that is free, so I don't have to pay like uh, Zwift, Ruby, and all Trainer Road or whatever. And uh, I, I select the Alped Way training course. It's a GPX course. And here I upload it through to Garmin Connect. That's my, I really like the statistics from Garmin. So have all the data after you finish your training, you receive your TCX file on email, then you can upload to whatever is your preferred application, Strava, Runtask, Endomondo, Garmin. So here are the, all the data, heart rate, cadence, speed, power, and of course, the, here is the uh, pendenza, and here is the course, the 21 turns on Alpidue, my time, the total climb is 13 kilometers, 1 hour and 11, average speed, average power, average power by my other rides, I mean when I'm riding outside is close to, but as I said, I'm still contacting text to be sure about the calibration but uh, anyway this is a really good setup for winter so if you you're gonna have this winter with snow and cold where it's not able to ride outdoor you have this smart trainer I paid about uh, 200 euros so it's good price for a good trainer I use the chest for heart rate also from the cattle, the John out, it's pretty good. And the cadence speed sensor that have, when you are using with the trainer, just use the RPM information. 
because the uh, trainer provides you the RP RPM information, but it's not accurated. So it's better if you have this cadence speed, it's better. So that's all. I hope you have a, a good uh, information about this and enjoy your indoor trainings. See you.